Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. Let us uh, start today's class. In today's class, uh, in our channel, we are going to discuss uh, CAD CAM subject. In the CAD CAM subject, subject, today's topic is scanning laser beam devices. Okay. Today's subject uh, which we are going to learn in today's class in our channel is scanning laser beam devices okay so last class we have seen the coordinate uh, measuring machine cmm that's called as cmm okay so this cmm falls under which type of classification the cmm falls under the classification of computer aided quality control okay so it again comes under the classification of contact inspection methods so CMM as well as the scanning laser beam scanning laser beam occupies or comes under the classification of contact inspection method okay so sometimes you may get in your examination state and explain the different devices or different uh, classifications which come under contact inspection method so you can uh, start with the CMM and you can start with the scanning laser beam device depending upon the marks okay so now we'll start discussing we'll start discuss how what are the things uh, comes under this scanning laser beam devices and how we can understand it in a easiest manner okay so we can we can uh, start uh, subject point of view as well as examination point of view and uh, we'll complete this uh, scanning laser beam device okay now let us uh, start this one so before starting this uh, scanning laser beam device a diagram is uh, ready for us a diagram is front of you we will understand what is the diagram what are the parts of the diagram right and how the things uh, how the mechanism is taking place in the diagram each and everything we will come to know step by step so that it will be easy for us to remember okay now we'll start see this is the entire diagram okay so this diagram is called this is named as scanning laser beam device okay this is called as scanning laser beam device the name itself is saying that it is a scanning member so you seeing this diagram will come to know how we can understand this uh, diagram right okay see starting of the diagram is laser from that laser what is happening we are getting the coherent light beam okay from this laser we are getting the coherent uh, light beam so this here i wrote laser beam okay it is subjected to this rotating mirror okay one rotating mirror is there two lenses two lenses are there one is uh, sweeping beam and other is here comes the object okay here comes the object and here comes the optical detector and this is the single processing okay see see the diagram itself you can understand it's a simple setup okay simple diagram it's an arranged in a systematic manner easy to understand easy to remember and easy to get good marks in CAD CAM subject okay so now we'll come to know uh, after seeing the parts of this diagram right what is happening to this diagram okay so how we can give what are the uh, uh, ways we are giving the input to this diagram and how output is observed based on this diagram okay right see here you can see a few sentences are ready the advantages of this uh, is that it is a coherent light beam which can be projected great distances without significant diffusion this relies on time rather than light a laser is used to project a continuous thin beam of light okay so here a laser is used to project a continuous thin beam of light a rotating mirror reflects a rotating mirror reflects the beam so that it sweeps across the object to be measured so i'll show you a rotating member see this is the rotating member it uh, sweeps the beam okay this is the rotating member it uh, uh, what is happening to this one it uh, sweeps across the object to be measured so that is the function of the rotating uh, mirror okay next uh, sentence will complete the right the light sensor is located at the focal point of the lenses system to detect the interruption of the light beam as the object blocks it okay 
so like that uh, it is uh, taking place in this entire setup that is the scanning laser beam devices and here last we are having one sentence a microprocessor is programmed into the conversion of the time lapse into a dimensional value and to perform other functions such as detection of the effective parts okay so that's all friends for today's class i think all of you understood today's class if you are having any doubts please post in the comments box i will give you reply if you are not coming to the a uh, here you can understand it very easily okay right so if you are not uh, subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel thank you very much thank you for watching